All right, we're on page 22, and we're going to do number two. I'm going to rewrite it on a separate paper. Number two says 14 and 2 ninths. Oops, you can't see that. There it is. 14 and 2 ninths minus 6 and 1 ninth. This is number 2 on page 22. 14 and 2 ninths and 6 and 1 ninth. Do they have the same denominator? Yes, so I don't have to worry about that. I can look at my fractions, which is 2 ninths and 1 ninth, and subtract 2 minus 1, 1. And what do I do with my denominator? Keep it. And then what's 14 minus 6? 8. Ta da! Yes. Watch this one again. If I have the same denominator, then I'm going to look at my fractions and see if I can subtract them. 2 minus 1 I can do, and that's 1. Keep your denominator. Oops, you can't see that. Always keep your denominator for adding and subtracting. Multiply and divide is different, but we'll get there. Then 14 minus 6 is going to give you 8. 